All right, my video didn't work yesterday, so I'm going up my handicap ramp. Actually, the ramp I get generator up with off the truck. Anyway, my front door. What I did yesterday while I was waiting on the quote to come back from the lumber yard is I laid out all the walls. And where my anchor bolts had to be cut off because of that retard that did the concrete and everything, those little S's denote where I'm going to put those shimps and anchors at. It's a replacement for it. They're like giant Tapcon, about 10 inches long. Um, uh, I already marked out the windows. Oh, that would indicate a jack and a king. Um, like that, an actual spot like that where the door is. Anyway, into my kitchen. If you look on the floor, I've highlighted everything like that with my Sharpie popping red lines where the walls go. I marked out my kitchen which I uh, put a three foot by three foot cube for a refrigerator. Uh, dimensions vary, but it's pretty close to what a refrigerator is, a full size one. And here is my kitchen, a 30 inch cabinet, whether it's got drawer poles or whatever in it, shelves. A 36 by 36 inside corner. Think about making it a 45 cabinet. Those Lazy Susans suck. I've had two of them and I don't like them. Um, 36 for the sink and dishwasher depending on budget or trash can underneath until I get one <clears throat> 21 inch cabinet probably silverware drawers on top maybe one drawer on the bottom gas range 30 inch standard and a 15 inch whatever drawer um, over here an elevated pantry if you can envision something elevated maybe 30 inches before my pantry starts because underneath of this over here in my closet where my HVAC and my water heater is going to go I'm actually going to have my return air come underneath this pantry and be like a return air right at the floor line but anyway coming over here to my hallway which is four foot wide I made it wide so it didn't feel tight and cramped I've got two there's like I say that denotes the termination of a wall or an opening. Um, two two foot four louvered bifolds. That way the HVAC can breathe air and whatnot. But pretty self-explanatory. HVAC um, line set for the refrigerant lines. It comes out and goes under the slab and out the side. This is my condensate line, which the AC will drip water into that. And as well, I'll tie a pan in underneath the water heater so that if it ever blows out, it'll hit the pan and then run into my uh, condensate line, my one inch line, and discharge out the building and not in the floor. Because a typical pan, I see so many people put pans in, they never connect them to anything. So they're useless. They'll hold a few gallons of water, and then you got 40 gallons on the floor, 30 gallons on the floor at least. 35 because those pans don't hold that much. Door swings. And I've only got one I'm missing two sheets. It's coming on my order. I've only got one window here, but you can't see it because the marks over here on the side of the plate. Um, they're going to be pretty big windows. But also, I, I uh, forgot to mention all my doors are three foot wide everywhere. The bathroom, in, in the house, out the side in the bathroom in the bedroom my case opening's a little bigger i come in and my electric panel's gonna be right here i'll probably probably rig up something where i can put a mirror in the front and slide it right left that way i'd hide it because i hate looking at ugly panels my closet albeit it is a walk-in it's really not that big so what i'm going to do is have rod and shelf on this side and then over here my stairs are going to come over here i'll explain that in a second I'll have the same thing over here, rod and shelf here, and probably use an armoire or something that I've already got a couple of in the bedroom. Um, back over here, I'm going to cut through the kitchen so I don't have walls up. My side door is right here too, so I can come in the house and into the kitchen or through the front door and whatever. Anyway, side wall, come in, three foot six wide in here. It's typical three foot wide for a house set of stairs but i'm making this three six anytime you make a right hand turn into a stairs it's very difficult to move furniture up or down because you just can't do the turn radius and anybody knows they've done this when they've tried to get a mattress up the steps this should alleviate that but anyway this upstairs will stairs up 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 
but they actually start over here. They go up and they'll hit a platform and then turn and come up and then the top of the stairs will probably be right above my closet. And then of course upstairs I'll have an open area that's 14 foot wide, the full length of the house, which is 42 foot. And I'll have one extra bathroom directly above the kitchen. Anyway, my video didn't work last night, so I came out and made another one. But I gotta come into the bathroom and explain what I'm doing. Coming in the bathroom, got a floor clean out. Already got it. Got it off Amazon.com for 28 bucks. Now they're 42, so don't think about getting a deal because I must have got it for cost. And they changed the price quick. And here is my Archie Bunker surprise. Can you see that? You know what that is, right? That is right there I've got three foot two in here too by the way a little bit wider than three foot like a, a stall in a restroom or something three foot two is a little wide it's not as wide as the one I had in the other house which was nice but I'm not planning on getting so large I can't fit in that hole um, walking over here I've got a four foot space for from here to here that's my walk-in shower my drains underneath here I just haven't cut it out yet it's underneath there but this is my vent pipe that, that feeds so it doesn't gurgle and all that whatnot. Not that it would, but anyway, above the shower, the walk-in shower, I'm gonna put a transom like you'd see over a front door or something like that. Maybe a casement. I don't know if I want to be able to crank it open or not. Um, but it's gonna be at least a one foot by three foot there. Maybe a casement. I don't know if I want to get that big. Anyway, that in my sink, here's a wall in here. As you come in the door behind me, it swings open. There's my pipe. That's not an indicator of center. But here is the end of my wall that I've got in the bathroom. My pedestal sink that I'm going to put in here. Probably another Kohler. I will bling on that. I'm going to do my, my Kohler toilet and sink. I, I'm not going to compromise on that. I'm going to have that sink and toilet because that's what I had in my other house. And right here is my elevated platform envision 20 inches off the floor an elevated platform that you can slide laundry baskets underneath of front loading washer front loading dryer discharge directly out the side so i have a straight shot out of this thing it's like never get clogged up um i've got the dryer already Rhonda insisted that i pull the two items from the sale of the house so that she could have them for emma she got her apartment, they didn't have gas, so I got the dryer back, she kept the washer, so I only have to buy the washer. Anyway, this is my, my house, Emma's house. Once I get the walls up, I'll take another video. It's kind of hard to get a perspective, but maybe you can better understand perspective-wise this way that I've got plenty of room in this bathroom from here over here. I've got clear four-foot walking area in here. It's, just, it's a roomy bathroom. You're not going to bump into anything. You're not going to do cartwheels, but you're not going to bump into anything. Anyway, that is it. Bedroom's about 13 and a half feet by 12 foot and some change. Um, back in here in the kitchen. When I walk out to my refrigerator, this is the kitchen I'm standing in front of. The sink. This is what I've got for a living room. Or from the end of the refrigerator, if you count the plywood joints, I've got 4 foot, 8 foot, 12 foot, almost... Six, just shy of 16 feet to the front door and of course it's going to be 25 foot once it's finished inside right to left anyway decent living room 16 by 25 later